So before I do this film this quick video now, I've just uh, brewed my festival uh, Pilsner, New Zealand Pilsner kit. And uh, I'll put this tip in the in the in the like, review of the kit as well because um, I think it's worthwhile mentioning that your fermenting vessels and jugs and things like that, the, the guides that are on them, the measurements are often very wrong. I've had it quite a few times. Um, and more recently, I only noticed that my actual jug that I was using to measure was wrong as well. Um, that was actually a while back when I had the grain father. I was pouring the water in from the jug and I topped it up. You know, I'm going up to the line on the jug each time and putting it in. And then the grain father markings inside said I needed to put more water in. And I thought at first, oh, that's a stupid machine, it's, it's, it's not got the right markings in it and that. More for me, the markings in the machine were correct, my jug was wrong. So uh, going on the, one of these jugs that I got, I got it from a, a, a beer shop somewhere, but it was it wasn't a cheap jug, and um, it was five litre, which I thought was ideal because I'm you know constantly putting amounts of water in. Uh, but then finding out that the five litre mark is kind of on the brim where they say, but it's not. It's way beyond the the limits of the jug, which is fair enough. You're probably not going to fill it up to five litre and try and put it up to the thing. But also the four, the three, and the two are off as well. And you think that's okay if you're just using a small amount, you could you could notice it. If you were filling up your boil kettle that's you know some distance from the sink like I do, I don't use a hose in the flat, that over time, if you're filling up 40 litres, could lose you two, three, four litres. And at the end of the, the day, when you've got it in your ferment and you realise you haven't got enough beer, that could be one of the aspects of it. And also when it comes to fermenting vessels, that can be wrong as well. So when you're doing beer kits, the gravity might be wrong, you know, because there's not enough water or there's too much water because the marking says it's 23 litres, but it could actually be 25 litres, so you've, you've overfilled it. Um, so one other thing you can do is weigh the water. Um, kilo is equal to a litre of water. So you want to get some scales and first make sure your jug's correct. Obviously if you've got a couple of sets of scales, you want to check your scales are correct as well. Um, you've got to stop at some point, I, I you know, understand that. But make sure your actual measuring jug is correct. And once you've got a, at least a decent litre mark on that, then you can start doing it. I mean, you're only going to have to do it once. And if anything, the best time to do that could be when you're um, running your water chiller and you're gathering all that waste water. Gather it in a bucket and use that water to calibrate all your other equipment. So for, at least for that day, you haven't wasted the water. Well, I don't. I, I use it for cleaning anyway. Um, but you, you know, you could use that water on that brew day that comes runs off your your water chiller, and you know, measure up that way and then at least then you've got an accurate thing, get a, get a sharpie marker or something and write where the actual 23 litre mark is. Sometimes they're, they're bang on, uh, which this one is and funny enough the kit still come out lower ABV than I'd, I'd expect but I can't I can't account for that so I'm not sure why that's happened but it's it's worth noting that you know a lot of the, the equipment thing is just a guide and not a real, real measurement so don't trust it because I've been trusting that for a long time and it's obviously been you know skewing with a, a few volumes and whatnot so it's always worth checking. Cheers.